everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the Chapter by Chapter for From Below by Darcy Coates. I'm Di, and this is my audio-only reading vlog for this book. Today, I will be reading chapters 33 through 40 and sharing my thoughts with you along the way. Due to the nature of this reading vlog, there will be spoilers, so if you haven't read these chapters yet, I suggest that you not listen to this recording until you have. So, I had a thought this morning. I was thinking about what we've read so far and all of the experiences we've had with the past chapters and the present chapters. And, you know, we as readers are seeing what's going on in the past, but the divers don't know any of that. They're only experiencing what they're experiencing during the dives. So, yeah, they see some of the writing on the walls. They've come across some of the bodies. But how are they going to put together what happened? I really am, like, thinking about that. Like, is the ship going to be excavated later? Are they going to retrieve the bodies and do some tests on them? Is the ship even going to be there by the time the book is done I really don't know I mean it's been making weird noises while they were in there and so yeah it was just just something I was thinking about this morning and so I'm I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to happen how they're going to put together what we're reading as people on the outside um, knowing what had happened in the days before the Arcadia sank but them not really knowing anything besides what they can see while they're diving. So yeah, I'm also really curious if, you know, the little tricks of the eye that's been happening are actually tricks of the eye or if there's something else going on there. So I'm hoping we'll get a little bit more information in these chapters. So I'm going to go ahead and read chapter 33 right now, and I'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, I just finished chapter 40. So we find out that Aiden also was short on air on the second dive up. So it makes me think that this third dive, he's going to have a problem as well. It does mention in this last chapter that he, you know, is trying to regulate his breathing and such, but it looks like something's happening. So that's interesting. And of course, the chapter ends right there. <laughs> I'm curious to know why Devereaux wanted that piece of fabric. I wish we had heard that conversation that he had with Aiden before they did the dive, like the night prior. But yeah, it'll be interesting to know why Devereaux wants that piece of fabric. And I guess we kind of got the answer to my question at the beginning of this episode uh, about how are people going to find out what happened to the crew with the burrowing disease and all of that. So Cove and Roy just came across that book. I don't know what's up with Roy. Like, is he just like really, or I should say, does he really just get uninterested in things fast? Is it because he's uneasy because of, you know, possible uh, coming into contact with other bodies. Like, what's his deal? Like, he wanted to come down and do this dive, but he, I don't know, it feels like he's just being a bump on a log. Like, he gets really uninterested and stuff. He's kind of, I would consider that, like, kind of whiny in the way that he's acting. Like, you know, picking at little things and wanting to go in other places and I don't know why Cove just doesn't tell him to stop it which brings me to another thing like that whole argument that they had when they finally got down to the wreck about partnering up and what they were gonna do don't you think that's a conversation they should have had before they got into the water Especially with the limited amount of oxygen that they had. They spend all of that arguing with each other before even getting started on the dive. So that didn't make sense to me. And when I look back at it, it doesn't seem like they have had 
that kind of planning beforehand. Because I'm pretty sure before the second dive, they also had this issue where they decided they were going to do teams and Roy got really possessive over Aiden and they were having a small argument then. It was smaller then than it was in this dive because things were agreed upon easier with him wanting to be with Aiden then. But on this one, there was definitely, well, I read it to have definitely more anger, which means if you're angry and you're talking, you're obviously breathing a lot faster, right? So using more air, I don't know, it just seemed not smart that they didn't think about a plan, what they were going to do before they got into the water. This whole thought of the ship like waking up because of the minuscule amount of oxygen that the divers have been feeding it is interesting. I'm not sure how scuba gear works. So is it actually oxygen that's been that's being released with the bubbles or is it carbon dioxide? I I don't know. But that whole that whole like kind of connection of you know, the bubbles releasing something into the ship where it's been devoid of anything for a long time. And it's just like grasping onto that and finally coming awake. It's a little bit creepy, but I'm glad that it looks like things might be start starting to happen. I will say that I'm, I'm kind of having a little bit of a hard time keeping my concentration on the book. In this section, I was very glad that we had more chapters that were in the present as opposed to the past, but I'm still having a hard time focusing. Like I'm finding myself having to reread paragraphs because I just like zoned out. Like I don't know what's going on. Um, I think maybe it's just been really slow. I think for a kind of underwater horror uh, book, or at least that's kind of what is being pitched. Um, This is not very full of what I would consider horror elements. I mean, a lot of the horror stuff is obviously going to come from when they're within the ship. And I guess part of what had happened in the chapters that we have from the past and finding out like what's happening to all of those people with the burrowing disease and things but a lot of the other stuff has just been really slow it's a lot of you know arguing some drama I think part of the tension is coming from not knowing certain things like how Devereaux had that conversation with Aiden and what he sent Aiden to get, and then we find out that Aiden's going for a piece of fabric? What's that all about? Like, (laughs) I don't know. I think this is just moving at a much slower pace than I'd like. And because of that, and the fact that I'm searching for the horror elements and they're just not there, Um, I think that's probably why my concentration is not being focused on the book and I'm having a hard time. But it looks like, it looks like (laughs) things are starting to happen, that the ship is possibly coming alive. We are past the halfway point at this point, at least in the copy that I have. So hopefully things will start moving faster. We'll have some uh, more creepy elements with the fact that the ship is possibly coming alive. And we'll see what happens with our dive team from here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with things that had just happened at the end of chapter 40 in the next chapters. And I guess this is their last dive, right? Or it's supposed to be. So I'm really interested to see what kinds of things they come across during this last dive. And 
yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about these chapters. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Do you think that they should have had planning meetings before they got in the water? Like, what's your take on how things are progressing? Are you, like, gripped to the story? Or are you okay with the slower pace of this novel? Are you feeling more horror elements? Um, or are you someone that reads a lot of horror and suspense and stuff? I would really love to know. For me, at this point, it's feeling more like an underwater mystery with a little bit of adventure because of the exploration of the ship. But yeah, definitely more mystery than horror at this point for me. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on this book at this point. And if nothing else, and you'd just like to let me know that you were here, if you could leave me a skull <laughs> emoji for the thing that happened at the end of the chapter down in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out. So I will be back with you tomorrow for chapters 41 through 48. I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all safe and healthy. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.